Oh, hey, look! The save is working! It's working! Oh, look at that! Oh, look at that! Oh, we're gonna go. We're gonna go ahead. Uh, before we go on to the ne I'm Yeah, I'm gonna introduce myself later. Before we go on to the uh, next area of the game, I'm gonna go ahead and look around to see if there's something around I'm, I might be able to pick up. Anyway, this is Mother 3, I am Emeth, and... Then I see the why I, I I don't see the reason to introduce myself. I mean, you're on the, my channel for a reason, right? Right? Yeah, <laughs> sure you are. But, uh, um, let's see who's down here? I think it's this lady down here. Yeah, it's lady here. I'm Nana. They say that on Tain Tain Island across the sea, there's a world of dreams and nightmares. But they also say that nobody knows the real truth about it. So then, how do you, do I know about it? Uh, yeah, that's that's a question that everybody should be asking themselves. How do we know all these things that we should know, and how does the world intend on working? And uh, yeah, I don't know. It's so incredibly annoying. You have no idea. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna go home to my home. Um, to pick up a thunder bomb. Yep. You know, as as you as you know, um, Wes will um occasionally put a thunder bomb in back there, and it would be advisable to go back there and collecting some of them if you if you need them. I mean, you don't necessarily need them, but it's just it's just the way I think it is. Anyway. We're here in... right here. There's zombies here, we have zombie dogs, we have graves, we have all kinds of stuff. But we're not gonna face them now, because now we're gonna go ahead and progress in the game. And yes, I, I'll just save you on my game, just to be safe. We're in Nipple, it's cage! Or shack, you know, whatever. Anyway, let's see. What we got? We got some beef jerky, we have picked up this already, I think, but whatever. Uh, we'll pick them up now. Kill the cheese and stuff like that. What's my... Status as of now, it is not good. I should go back and heal somewhere. I definitely should. And the be the best ne the best way to heal at this point, we go to the um, hot spring. But on my way there, I would really like to. Avoid fighting enemies. I would seriously like to avoid that. So here we go into this hot spring. I don't even know I'm doing this, but I mean I know I'm why I'm going here to heal, but I don't know why I'm um, showing it. Either way, hopefully I can avoid that bat. Okay. No, 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 no! No! Bad bat. Anyway. I'm just gonna go ahead and, um... Head back up. That doesn't take long. It's fine. The present here is open. What? It's not open? Didn't I open us? I guess not. Whatever. We got a nut bread. We have some more food. Which is always good. Nope. Don't think so, zombie. And graves and everything else? I don't think so. I'm just gonna head in and go into here. And before I go, I'm just gonna uh, save again. Just to be safe. Because I wasn't really doing great. The uh, I wasn't, you know, I was not very healed. Uh, here we have the underground passage. We have some enemies here. Uh, this is one of them, which is a detached leech. Oh god, we got a blind speed attack. But they're kind of annoying. And you probably have to heal up a quite a few times uh, going through here. This is another enemy, which you can avoid if you really want to. But I'm just gonna fight him. Um, he's a coward, though. But they're, they're tough, they're tough. 
Come on, just kill it. Okay, whatever. Not like you're gonna get a hit on me anyway. There we go. They're tough, they're tough. Fungus level is now level 10, yes! Level ups! Another one. Just look at it and it'll run away and we can fight it from behind. Which is best. Oh, that's a smash! Wow. That's good. It's gonna fence up. Jeez. It's dead, it didn't even hurt me! We have some detached leeches here. I think the uh, Siren Beetle will turn the enemies around. I'm pretty sure. Yes, sometimes, but not always. I'll heal up after this battle, actually. Okay, whatever. Whatever. That's one dead leech. And it heals up, that's great. Except it's dead anyway! And I should heal up, yes. Should do that, should do that. And we got an edible mushroom. You know, why not? That'll be fine, and the nut bread. That's good. Hello. Hi there. Ha ha ha! I love loading. I love uh, attacking him from behind. I know that sounds wrong, but it's it's a game. God damn it! Oh, he missed. Wow. Great. I do believe there's one more room though, so we're not finished yet. Yeah, we, we can pick up that present, and we need to fight two more of these guys. No big deal. No big deal. These are the ones who will probably hurt you the most in here, I think. Especially if you use the tactics I am doing. I am so. Anyway, that's one. Alright. Good stuff, good stuff. And a present, and there was an edible mushroom, and we took the edible mushroom. Gonna grab them a present, which happens to be nut bread, which is good. And here we are outside of Soe Castle, and Nippolite is here. And we have some Sparrow guy here. Sparrow device, allow me to discuss one of the main tricks of fighting. How you and the enemy come into contact can give you adva and the advantage or disadvantage in a battle that follows. The, tru the truth is, you won't always encounter the enemy head to head or every time. If you manage to sneak up on the enemy from behind or the side, you'll have the upper hand. The enemy will be facing backwards when you enter battle, you'll see. Conversely, if the enemy sneaks up on you from behind or this is from the side, you'll be the one backwards from, uh, facing backwards at the start of the battle, putting you at a real disadvantage. When the upper hand is yours, you'll see the things from in front of you turn green before battle. And when the enemy has an upper hand, you'll get red instead. When you're on equal terms, everything will seem bluish, for lack of better for a, for lack of a better term. Anyway, to summon everything up, go forth, young man. Go, go, go! And all that. So there you have it. Now to end this with a sparrow like chirp, chirp, chirp. Alright, so we have Nippolit here. Just gonna run around in a circle. Why not? Oh, it's Old Man West's son. What's his name? You made it through that underground passage without being done in by all those mom damn monsters? That's really something. Want inside the castle, do ya? Afraid that's not gonna happen. Gets locked and. <sighs> it won't budge at all. Only way inside now is to climb up the walls. So let's look at that. Uh, actually, let's look at the signs first. Pota potato toe. My humble little stew patch. Alright, so let's look at the wall. Um, we can't do anything there. The gate is obviously locked. But there seems to be something here we can do. Yes, we want to climb the scalable wall. 
Okay. I'd like to find a frog, actually, but I don't think there's any frogs in the near in the vicinity, honestly. And the ant, the ant, ant! Watch your step! Watch where you're stepping, will ya? I'm standing right here, you know? I'm an ant! Don't you dare step on me! Look like you still haven't got the hang of the battle rhythms! The real aggressive rhythm, you gotta learn the enemy's beats! Wait, you didn't know that you can hear the enemy's heartbeat by putting it to sleep? Well, I knew! So now you better know, too! Don't worry, though! You can still fight just fine without doing any other rhythm stuff, of course. Well, that's all. Thank you very much. Okay. Oh, there's a safe frog right here. Good. Uh, good to know you're not a ghost frog. That is actually pretty good to know. Anyway, we got here a decorative suit of armor. We got a ghost in here. Yes, we're finding ghosts now. Oh, stinky ghost suddenly attacked. And they called for help, but... Nobody's gonna come. So, too bad for you, ghost. And we're attacking 41, which is. And there's another ghost! Oh, good stuff. Oh no, god! Oh, thank god. You see, when they. Uh, when they. Uh, do that, when they try to poison you like that, or sicken you, or whatever, uh, you'll have to eat what's inside his chest. Or, uh, no, not the rotten milk. It's not talking about the rotten milk. No, that's fine. Um, you get the odd feeling that the woman in the painting is staring at you. Yeah, that's an odd feeling. We just run into this, and that fall boulder will fall, and we just have to jump down. <laughs> you can't scale up this, but I, I I'm not gonna bother. Oh yeah, that's the thing. Uh, now I will feel sick, so when you're feeling sick, you won't be able to eat anything. Bang guys in the condition to eat or drink, see? Good thing though, right here we have a fresh mint. And this sign says, you know that feeling when you're just kind of bleh and can't eat anything at all? When that happens, a fresh mint will freshen you right up. So if you eat this fresh mint, we will feel better, and we can eat and drink stuff again. Which is a good thing, of course. Here we are at uh, this uh, place, and we can open the gate now, so we can get in any time you want. Nipple it! Says stuff. Well, I am going to go inside again. Down here, is, uh, there's a safe frog here. We have a painting, which can't really do anything about. We have fresh mint here, and down here we have a hot spring. Do I need to heal up, though? I'm not sure if I need to heal up, but I'll do it anyway. It's a good thing to do. Alright, so there we go. We healed up, and we can uh, continue. Ready to continue. Go away. We can't go into this, I think. No. I guess the next destination for us is here, which happens to have a lot of ghosts, and we actually have a back attack on the ghost! Oh, what do you know? Oh, don't call for help, thank you. There we go, dead as dead should be. And a present, then there was a rotten eclair, which I will be needing, actually. I have some guys here, some ants. We got the bad memory, which is a good thing to have. Anyway, an Ar Arachnoid. These, these are really not that tough. I think you can hit, take them out in one hit. Well, maybe not one hit, but they're they're not that tough anyway. They do bite a bit, though, so a little bit, a little bit annoying, but it's fine. It's fine. You won. Of course I won. Anyway, let's take a look at that battle memory, shall we? Um, when we can. The battle memory will sh show you every battle you've had with every enemy. Um, and you can also see the back attacks of them. You can see, like, the back, back sprites. Oh, let's just read all of these, why not? Um, Mole Cricket, friend or foe? Even when flat, broken, stepped on, this imitable Im 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 bug is always optimistic. A bat native to the Sunshine Forest, it loves ambiguity and tends to be wishy-washy. 
uh, desperate to be embraced as sweet and delicious, prefers to wag out underground as much as possible. Yes. I have this firefly. This monster is a small bug fused with a sheep lighter. It's doomed to a uh, one-time use. Alright. The buzzing wings on this on its back were probably transplanted from a giant insect. Compared to snakes that always bite, this doesn't bite as much. But it does bite, so be careful anyway. Sweet, piping hot, and yummier than a roasted chestnut, but still a monster. Would probably go well with butter. Probably! A, mis a, a mischievous prankster in some re regions. The males are referred to as naughty moles. Okay. Someone has modified this gentle reindeer to make it aggressive. That's no good. Its aggressive pose is so intimidating, it makes you grateful that it isn't enormous in size. That is true! That is true. This mouse squirrels away anything and everything, even burying its, wor its worries and responsibilities. Walking Bushy kindly heals people who are hurt, whether they like it or not, but his name is a little iffy. Yeah. These gather in groups to protect themselves from enemies. They'll, they'll proudly attack anything that appears to be weaker. Alright. The look of his, uh, on his face growls, Calm bars don't deserve to be called bars. That's true. Anyway, when it doesn't move, it looks just like a rock. When it does move, it still looks like a rock. <laughs> some, some of these are so funny, seriously. A very, ar un, ar ar a very orthodox titani, famous for its personality, but not for his voice. Alright then. Prefers to eat meat raw. It's recently taken a liking to dried meat, too. Also love to eat vegetables. Alright. It got sick of being a plant, so it gave walking a try. There's no going back now! <laughs> this is like, so funny, seriously. This vicious mechanic... <clears throat> this vicious mechanized... Mechanized... Mechanized, that's true. This vicious mechanized monstrosity was once... A friendly animal known as the Drago. Not even death can stop him from wandering, wandering the graveyard. He attacks people as he seeks new life. Alright. See Zombie Man page for a description, because they're exactly like pronounced aside, not just because the writer's lazy. Probably, probably, probably both. I don't know. Once it sticks, it won't come off easily. Even if you do manage to pull it off, the residue is gross. An overgrown crawfish. Those big pincers are so handy, they could share a cheap near bald. And again, ghost. We have two enemies left. Some ghosts in Osoa Castle are understanding and kind-hearted, but these ones are plain all mean. There's nothing special about this spi this spider at all. It isn't poisonous, and poisonous, and it doesn't have any med medic fission medicinal medicinal benefits whatsoever. I can't speak today. Anyway, that's all the enemies we have encountered so far, and I will take a look at all the enemies as they come along. And I don't want to really the spider, whatever. Hey, that is the rope snake. He's incredibly popular these days. I'll trade him for one a rotten eclair. What do you say? Do we have a deal? Yes, we do. Thanks a bunch. Things like this last a lifetime, so even if they seem expensive, it's smart to buy as many as you can. Okay. Thanks! It looks like we both profited. Treasure for uh, treasure for the last of your life. Hee hee hee. Alright, so we got the rope snake. A snake that seemed like a good replacement for a rope. Rope snake is awesome. That is a beef jerky. Two of them. No, I don't have any rock nuclears left. I, th I don't think I have, do I? No. What is this? Oh, that's a fresh mint. Okay, I don't have any, so... There are ghosts in here. Hmm, what to choose, what to choose. I just can't decide. I like the friendly rope snake. There's something charming about him. Like his length and his jaw. Alright. Because there's no one else in here. You get run away, man. Run away. Anyway, I think don't think I'm gonna go ahead and fight any more ghosts as of right now. Guess I have to fight this spider though. But that's fine. Just fight him. There we go! 
You don't get too much experience though, but that's fine. What we got here? Rotten Eclair, I suppose. Not Rotten Milk. Just gonna heal up a little bit. I'm gonna drink some of these this Rotten Milk. I would never drink Rotten Milk, seriously. But, whatever. Anyway, we got two battles here. We got, well, two battles. We got one battle. Anyway, um, just gonna kill the ghost first, I think, because it will do that. Sheesh. All right, and now I'm attacking the Ar Arachnid. Well, he's gone. Well, I'm already stupid ghost, dude. Da -da -da -da. And a present, and it was a rotten eclair. Fine. Beef jerky. Do I have re fresh mint now, though? Yes, I do have a fre fresh mint. Alright, that's good. And now we're down here. Where we have some new enemies. This is one of them, which is this big bro. Which is, uh, he's not that tough. Though, he does have PSI, which can be annoying. And we got a nut cookie. A nut cookie, would you imagine? I'm just gonna eat all of these things, and there's actually an enemy right here as well. And I got a back attack on him, that's cool. We stuck up on a battle man! And this one is pretty tough. A little tough, not the toughest around, but we got a ba we got a back sprout for him. That's cool. We got some nut bread. I don't think there's anything special in here. Yeah, that's the thing we need to go to get. I guess anyway, we got a big bro to encounter here. Try to laugh up. He that's great. He's trembling with fear. Anyway, um. Uh, the enemies, the, the evil, they will not attack, honestly, so don't even bother. But here we go, with this is the thing. The sound of blowing wind can be faintly heard coming from behind this wall. The uh, an all dance is depicted here, yes. So I'm just gonna head out of this place. There's nothing else to do here. And I don't want to fight anything, so I'm just gonna leave the place, thank you very much. I don't think there's anything else we can do here. Actually, is there? Now we can go in here. I don't think I've ever been up here, actually. Well, we can do this. <laughs> I want an, uh, another uh, power-up. Not a power-up, but a level-up. I hate these guys. Biting me. There we go, that's one. Alright, that's good. Alright! That is good, and we should heal up. Just gonna eat some peculiar cheese, I think. No, I'm just gonna eat the ed edible mushrooms. There we go. Ah, oh, crap. We have to fight this guy as well. I should cut some of these battles out, but... I'm not too far into the project, and I'm not gonna do it any time soon anyway. Anyway, there we go, level 12, yes. Very good. In here, we got a chick bandana. Uh oh, we have an enemy. Archie Ghost. These are tough. Um, yeah, they can use freeze, which hurts a lot. Didn't work. Well, that's great. These are tough enemies. Uh, I better heal up. I like the music though. The music is great. Oh. <laughs> Jeez! I understand art. Banga does not. I do, but. Just die, please. Thank you. Okay, so that's good. They don't give a lot of experience though. All the fireplaces in this place are connected via a square grid. Passage. Wait. 
Uh, sorry, I'm just too lazy right now. And these will attack. Actually, yes. I will heal up, I think. And I will be, uh... I will be uh, equipping the Tick Bandana. So I'm just gonna run because I'm not ready to face these enemies! Ah! I'm not ready. Anyway, we have a new room here with friendly ghosts. Give that fellow's piano song a listen! It's great! It's moving! It's tear-jerking! It's hinting! Really? For some reason, only the keyboard of this grand piano is bright and shiny. Alright. I wonder why. Whatever. Wine. It's the water of life. In this castle, I'm the ghost who knows most. That's great. We ghosts enjoy ha having food pass through our spirits at times. Okay. What do you have to say to for yourself? Do you want something to eat too? Sure. Here you go. Tha thanks. It's done here. No, oh, uh, this is the way up. I'm gonna go ahead and... There's a guy up there. This guy right here. The ghosts here party every single day. I can't fit into that. In with that. It's just not my thing. You are what you are! Gift boxes with blue ribbons have great things in them. Maps. It'd be useful to remember that. So what? Thanks! Lovely! Can I get that now? Thank you. A sew a sketch. You know what? We'll end the episode here. I'm just gonna take a look at the sketch though. If I can. I can't, obviously. There we go. Okay. So here's the sketch, and it's the Oso Castle. It's this thing. It's a fight? I didn't know that. You can't the strawberry slime! Oh, <laughs> great! I don't even know what I'm fighting here. Strawberry slime? Can I can I even beat this thing? Oh god. This this guy's tough. Oh. Better heal some. Oh, again. Can I just get this guy now? I would like to kill him. Oh shit! I'm I'm in big trouble here. Running wrong! Go! Oh! All right, I go. That was a lot of experience, and we got a sprinting bomb. All right, are you a battle? Y you guys are battles. What the hell? Violent roaches. I am pretty low on things, so I'm just gonna use a thunder bomb on these guys. Jeez. I'm just gonna use another one. Why not? Thank you for dodging that. There we go! And there we go. Alright, hopefully there's a level up there right now. No. But, it doesn't matter. Because we're just about ready anyway. We're gonna end it off right here. Actually, I'm gonna find a safe frog. If I can. Many of the ghosts here are actually pretty friendly, huh? That's not something you just... I, f I wanna find a save frog. Hey, hey. You! You're an ordinary person, aren't you? No, I'm not. Yeah, that's right. You're such an ordinary person. I'm not. Seriously, I'm not. Actually, I guess doing... Go, 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 go! No! Don't hurt... Don't hurt me! Oh man, I'm I'm in a rut here. <laughs> I'm seriously in a rut here. I need to find a safe frog really quickly. I don't want to fight anybody. No, I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight. No, no, no. I want to run. I can't. I can't run. No. I need to get away. I need to get away. Yes. Get away. Yes. Go away! I'll just climb up here. I know I should have ended the episode long ago, but I want to find a safe frog. Safe 
Save frog! Save frog! Yes! Save my save my game! Thank you! Thank you, and I'm gonna end the episode right here in front of these portraits. I hope you enjoyed, thanks for watching, and as always, I'm Emeth, of course. Why am I ending it like this? Anyway, take care everybody. Bye.